Well, we're in the fourth overtime of UConn and Cincinnati. What a fabulous basketball game. These officials have really done a really outstanding job. Uh, I'm, I'm showing a few videos of, uh, of plays that they just obviously missed and, and should not have missed them. Uh, you know, I mean, if you get a 99 out of 100 right and the 100th one is obvious, then we should get that one right too. But anyway, what's this play? And listen to uh, um, the announcer. Of Mick Cronin. Take a look at Brian Ryder. First of all, that's a foul. I'm surprised they didn't call that. Me too. Well, it is a foul. And, you know, they talk about the freedom of movement. It's like on free throws too often. The, it's almost like the officials just put their hand, their whistle in their pocket, and um, and then they don't they don't really start making rulings pertaining to contact until somebody gets control of the ball. Here's this play in slow motion. Once this effects comes off the screen here. Good positioning. Get ready to start his timer. Now, blocking out somebody, I mean, the term blocking out or boxing out is not really used in the rules book, but there's no difference to guarding somebody and blocking out. Now, if we could take this player here, blue 35, and look at his arms. He's got his arms back there holding the... Um, white shirt opponent, if he were to turn around and face him and put his hands out there like that, I believe every official in America would have a whistle. So he's pushing him back. He, now he starts to come around him because it's just like guarding. If he gets his head and shoulders past his head and shoulders, then, uh, you know, he can't stop him. And if he stops him, then it's illegal. He's not letting him come around, so he's holding him. And he's got a lot of pressure on him. Got a good view. A lot of pressure on him, push, pushing him back. All of a sudden now he says, I'm going to go up for that ball. Because here comes the ball on this side of the ring. And now he's getting pushed so far, he can't even get anywhere near that ball. So he's pushing him, got his arm on his neck, shoving him away so that he can get the rebound. Got good positioning on it. He pushes him away, out of control, falling backwards. But he got the ball, and all that activity was ruled as legal play. He's chopping time with a fist, so it makes some people wonder if that's a foul. But he didn't blow the whistle. Being a little facetious for you. I'm going to go back and get this in real speed. And you know what? I like the approach of Mick Cronin. Take a look at Brian Ryder. First of all, that's a foul. I'm surprised they didn't call that. Me 